Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun video today. I've got 10 crafts, all Disney themed, and they're completely free. These are 10 different projects you can do with your kids using stuff that you have at hand, at home. This was inspired because if you're watching this in the future right now, America is under quarantine. We're all looking for ways to entertain our kids, and I know I've been doing the same. So these are some ideas that I came up with. First, I'm gonna be making a tic-tac-toe game. All you're gonna need for this is a square of cardboard, use something from an Amazon package, and then you're gonna to wanna to paint that a color. I went with red, I'm doing Mickey colors. Once that's dried, just take a marker, a marker, a pen, whatever you have, and draw like a tic-tac-toe grid. You're then gonna cut out some like little Mickey head pieces, do them in two different colors, so it's kind of like an X and an O, and then there you go, this is really fun. My daughter is super into tic-tac-toe right now, and she was so happy to have this Mickey version of the game. Second, we're gonna do another Mickey kind of game. We're gonna make a toss game. So you need two kind of longish pieces of cardboard. Again, you wanna cut them into the shape of like a rectangle. And then you're gonna cut out like a Mickey head from the inside of one of those pieces. And then you're gonna tape the pieces together so that you kind of get like a triangle. You want the shape of like a cornhole game. And then you're gonna paint the little construction that you made, use whatever color you want. And then I added like some little polka dots. I put a little bow on made out of construction paper. And then there you go, use whatever kind of balls or whatever you have to toss in. Third, I'm gonna make a little snow globe. We're gonna do a frozen snow globe appropriate for snow, right? But you could do whatever theme you like. And I just used an old jar. I filled it up with some water and I sprinkled in a little sea salt to kind of make that snow. And then I just took a toy that my daughter, daughter already had and I hot glued it on the inside of the lid. You can use hot glue, super glue, E6000, whatever you have. And then screw that lid onto the jar. Do it nice and securely, you don't want any leaks. And there you go, you can make a whole village of snow globes this way. Next, we're gonna do a hook for Captain Hook. All you need for this is a piece of cardboard, cut it into that hook shape, cover it up with some tin foil, and then take whatever disposable cup you have, I'm using a coffee cup, cut a little slit into the top, slide your hook in, and then there you go. I took, a, took it a step further and I actually painted the cup red to give it more of a Captain Hook look. I don't think you would need to do that. It still kind of gets the point across. You could use construction paper too if you wanted to give it a color. And then to go with our hook, we're gonna make a telescope for a pirate. I just took a paper towel roll, I wrapped it in some black construction paper, you could paint it as well, wrapping it and then taping it in place was just quicker. And then I took a white like chalk marker and I drew on it like a little dot 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 pattern to like a treasure map. And then I drew an X, I drew a little skull and crossbones. You could decorate this however you want, give your child a paper towel roll and then let them decorate it using whatever you have. You don't have to have a chalk marker, you could use any sort of pen. Really let your child just use their creativity. Next, we're going to make a hook, Maui's hook, it's another hook. This is from the movie Moana. You need to cut out a larger hook shape. And then I took some twine and I wrapped it around the handle of the hook. Use whatever you want. If you don't have twine, any sort of string, ribbon, rope. If you don't have any of that, cut out long strips of wrapping paper and wrap it around, whatever. And then I took a black marker and I drew sort of a tribal pattern all over it. I tried to do the actual pattern from the movie. I looked at a little image, but you can let your child do whatever pattern they want. Give them the marker, let them make their own little story on it. Really, really cute. And then to go with Maui's hook, we're making Moana's necklace. Super, super sweet and simple. I cut out like an oval shape from some cardboard with like a little rounded top at the top. You'll see what that's for later. And then I painted it green use whatever greenish blue color you want. You could use magic marker to color this in. And then I took a black marker and I drew like a little a little curly Q shape in the middle to mimic her actual necklace. Um, then poke a hole through that little top part there so that you can string it onto some twine or ribbon or whatever to make it a necklace. You could go even farther with this, cover it with glitter, give your child some beads and let them string it on to the necklace to make it even fancier. Again, let them use their creativity and make this their own. Next, we're gonna make a really cute little flower pot. I took a can, like a tomato sauce can, and I removed all the packaging from it. And then I'm just gonna cover it with some craft paint. Use whatever sort of paint or coloring you have. You could use markers again for this. And then once that dried, I went over and I painted on little Mickey shapes all around. I did like a rainbow of colors. It's spring, summer. I wanted it just colorful and cheerful. Once that dried, I just took a marker and I drew a little squiggle line under each Mickey to make it balloons. I was going for a Mickey balloon theme. And then once that's dried, you've got a little pot or vase. I, I let my daughter pick some flowers and we put this in. You could get some dirt from your front yard, put it in and actually put a little planted flower. That would be really cute. A succulent would look adorable in this. 
We are also going to make a Rapunzel lantern. This is really easy and really pretty and effective. Take, um, you need like a piece of purple or any color construction paper and then also a piece of wax paper, sort of the same size. You want to cut some panels out of the construction paper, just some rectangles. I did two. So now we kind of have a frame of a lantern and then tape that wax paper to the back side of the construction paper so it peeks through and then you're going to tape the ends together so that you've got like a cylinder shape. That's your lantern. And then I cut out a sun shape from some yellow paper, taped that on. I didn't even glue it. I just taped it right on. And then if you put a little battery operated LED light uh, underneath this, it's going to flicker and look really pretty and look just like one of Rapunzel's lanterns. You can make a bunch of these, do a whole scene of lanterns. I think kids would absolutely love this. I think this was my daughter's favorite project we did. And then finally, my favorite project we did, we are going to do a Beauty and the Beast stained glass window. This is so fun. I used to do this when I was a kid. You need a piece of wax paper and then take some tissue paper, go to wherever you store your gift wrap, get whatever colors you have, and then cut the tissue paper up into little pieces. Give that to your child along with some glue and then just have them glue the paper onto the wax paper in whatever design they like. Once that's dry, you can make, like, make a little frame for it out of construction paper, printer paper, card stuff, whatever. Tape them together and then you need to cut out out of black paper some sort of image or character. I did Lumiere. Um, you could do a Google image search for coloring book pages. So do a Google image search for like Beauty and the Beast coloring pages. Cut out a character and then use that to trace onto a piece of black paper so that you got this little silhouette and then tape that behind the wax paper. And then when you hang it up on a window, once the sun shines through, you're gonna see that character. It's gonna look like a little glass window. It's so, so sweet. Um, we had so much fun doing this. I hope you enjoyed these ideas. Again, like I said, this was inspired uh, for my quarantine craft series. I'm going to link below. I've got a ton of projects I've been doing recently that is all sort of stuff you can do at home using what you have. We're not going out shopping. So uh, I'm, using, I'm using my imagination here to keep my daughter entertained and I know you guys are too. Let me know in the comments if you're going to try this. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit the red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I'm doing videos like this every single week and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.